The first bit of the news here for this morning that we're going to go over has to deal with the Kick Creator Incentive Program. Now, if you don't, if you're not too aware with this program, don't worry. This program is simply it's something that pays streamers to live stream on Kick. So, for example, I'm in it and literally I earn money just by live streaming on Kick. It depends on chat activity, viewers, returning viewers, all that stuff. Okay, a variety of different things. All right. But anyways, uh, at about three o'clock this morning, um, I read some more news, some updated information on the Creator Incentive Program. Now, before you were not able to live stream on YouTube Shorts, right? You know how YouTube Shorts released YouTube Short live streaming? Well, we weren't allowed to do that. Okay, we were, If you were in the KCIP, you were not allowed to do that. But that has changed. Uh, you can now multi-stream to YouTube Shorts live streaming, and it adds on to the roster of TikTok and Instagram Live, okay? So now if you're in the KCIP, you can multi-stream to three different platforms now, uh, which are all vertical, and you are allowed to do that while still earning with the KCIP. If you multi-stream to anything else, you won't earn from the KCIP, okay? That's very important, all right? So that is one change. It's a great change, right? YouTube Shorts live streaming, you can now multi-stream while in the KCIP program, okay? Now, um, another thing is, is uh, there's, there's a couple other changes besides that, um, mainly pertaining to rules. And one of those rules is that now if you are multi-streaming, if you're in the KCIP and you want to earn you have to only interact with kick chat. Okay. You're not supposed to, obviously there's a lot of gray zones here that we're not quite sure of still trying to figure that out exactly. But, um, you're technically with, with the way that the rule says right now, basically it's like, kind of like you can't talk to your other chats. Okay. You cannot talk to your other chats. Um, now, obviously, again, all of this stuff may, might change, uh, right? It might change over time. The other thing is, is that it's also important to note that this is KCIP only. If you are not in the Creator Incentive Program, you don't have to worry about any of this, okay? If you're just a regular streamer, that's fine, all right? High CPU usage detected. What? Um... So that's uh, that's very important to uh, very important to note. Okay, um, another little change here as well is that um, if you do multi-stream to these platforms, you're supposed to have like an overlay that says like kick.com/slash your username. Now, that to me is I mean it makes sense, right? This stuff does make sense, but having that overlay is a little bit interesting because I think it causes. Uh, if you could just have like the kick logo and your username, I think that would be fine. But if you have to have kick.com slash yuppie, for example, um, it's kind of messy, right? It's kind of messy. It's kind of not very smooth looking. Now, not only that, but you also have the next thing is that your kick chat has to be an overlay on the screen, much like my kick chat over here. Your kick chat is supposed to be an overlay on your screen for your multi streams, which is a bit of an issue because think about vertical live streaming. There's really not a lot of space to put a chat, right? There, there's not a lot of space to put a chat at all. Okay. So I don't know how well that's going to go. Um, there's definitely been some, some responses. Uh, about that. So again, like I said, everything can change. Um, everything can change all these rules and stuff. It's just kind of like, you know, testing the waters and messing around with them. But uh, you're going to start seeing probably some other creators that multi stream um, to like TikTok, Instagram, and now YouTube shorts live streaming. Uh, you're going to start seeing them mention some of that stuff, right? Um, yes, ABABs, you are exactly right. It doesn't say how many lines you need. You can keep one line of chat. That is technically true, uh, which is something that I, I was thinking of too, that if, you know, they don't budge with this, 
then technically you could just have one single line of chat at the bottom of your webcam or something, right? Like that would that would technically work. Um, and it, your kick chat is on screen uh, because you, you can't make that. Not only do you have to have your your URL, right? Your kick stream URL, but also having your chat overlay on screen is extremely difficult to do. Uh, there, there's not a lot of not a lot of um, uh, not a lot of stuff there, right? Uh, not a lot of room, uh, real estates to mess with. Dinosaur Gaming, good morning, good morning. How you doing, brother man? I'm doing good. How do they enforce a browser source that they don't provide? That, that That's, uh, you know, that's, uh, that's interesting, actually. That's very interesting. Um, yeah, that's very interesting. Because, yeah, technically they are forcing a browser source that kick doesn't provide you with so you have to use a third party like kick tools from ababs or botrix or whatever these other overlays are um you would have to use those instead uh which i mean i understand I, i'm just yeah that's it that's a very interesting fact yeah how do they, how could they force something that they don't provide which I mean is technically good for the third party. So ABAB is going to benefit because any of the people multi streaming are probably going to go to Kick Tools. Let's be honest; it's probably the most well known, uh, like third party tool provider. I would say, um, you know. But uh, while ABAB is over there smiling, <laughs> but uh, but technically, I mean, it would benefit third parties. But uh, that is a great point, though, right? Great point. What up, Max? What up, dude? Yeah, so that is a that is a great point. Um, so huh, yeah. But I, what do you guys think of those rules, though? So again, just to cover over these rules, these apply to the creator incentive program members only. If you're not in the creator incentive program, you don't have to worry about this. If you are, technically, you can ignore all these if you shut off your KCIP, which just means that you're not going to earn money for your stream. Okay. Otherwise you would still earn if you follow these rules. So again, uh, multi-streaming to YouTube shorts, live streaming is uh, like you're allowed to, along with TikTok and Instagram live, you can, you can do that to YouTube shorts as well. Um, and then you also can only pay attention to kick chat, which is very interesting. There's a lot of responses from this, uh, about this because some people like to think follows on TikTok. What if they get gifted on TikTok or something? Um, I, 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 I don't know. Like, um, hmm. I don't know. I don't know. Like, what is that? Again, there's a lot of gray zones here for what's allowed and what not what might not be allowed where it opens it to interpretation from kick mods, whether they think that's breaking the rules or not. Right. It's, it's very, um, you know, up in the air stuff that is based on individual opinions. I would say for the moderators reviewing the content. Um, and then also the two overlay things for vertical live streaming, having your kick stream URL, and having chat on screen, you're, you're really not going to have a lot of room for stuff, right? I mean, ultimately, if you have a camera, um, the camera is going to essentially be like, I could put chat at the bottom, but where am I going to put the, the kick logo? But technically, they want the URL, kick.com slash your username. Um, where would I put that, right? Um how small can it be, right? Because, I mean, you know what I'm saying? If I could put the chat on screen and be like, hey, this is the chat, but it's extremely small, you could probably get away with that. Obviously, it'd, they'd be frowned upon until they change the rules or adjust them. But, yeah, so I don't know. I, I just figured I would throw this out there as a bit of a change for the KCIP program. Um, it's got some good points. It's got some points that have a lot of gray areas, and I'm curious to see how this is going to go with a lot of the members in the program um, and see how it develops. But people are giving their feedback though. So um, yeah, very interesting to see how that goes.